जय हिंद दोस्तों वेलकम टू फिन विजन आई एम करण संदीप मेलवाल एंड इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद सीरीज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस वीडियोस टुडे वी हैव कम अप विद अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दैट इज कॉम्यूटेशन ऑफ पेंशन टुडे वी विल गिव यू अ डिसीजन मैट्रिक्स ऑन वेदर कॉम्यूटेशन इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू और नॉट एंड देयरफॉर यू कैन मेक योर कॉम्यूटेशन डिसीजन कमिंग टू व्हाट इज कॉम्यूटेशन एट द टाइम ऑफ रिटायरमेंट ए रिटायरी कैन कॉम्यूट 0 to 50% of his retiring pension for next 15 years and he can take it in advance in one go first let's understand how is pension calculated take an example of sir at the rank of colonel taking pmr after 21 years of service his basic pay is 155900 rupees msp he is drawing is 15500 da on date is 42% which is applicable from 1st april 2023 age he is retiring is at 44 years plus his entitled pension will be 50% of the basic pay plus msp which in this case comes to 50% of 171400 rupees that is 85700 rupees the monthly pension he will be getting in account is the entitled pension plus 42% da on it which comes to 121694 rupees in case he decides to commute 50% this will be the calculation that is he can commute 50% of 85700 which is 42850 rupees the monthly pension after 50% commutation will be 78844 rupees that is the pension he has commuted of 42850 rupees gets reduced from his monthly pension please note the pensioner will continue to receive the da even on the commuted portion of the pension the monthly pension that comes to him comes as taxable whereas the corpus he receives in one go comes as tax free now coming to the commutation corpus for this officer of 44 years plus age on his next birthday will be taken which is 45 years the commutation factor applicable for him from the commutation table is 8.996 hence the commuted corpus he will get is 42850 rupees into 8.996 into 12 which comes to 46 lakhs 25744 rupees is the commuted corpus that he will receive here is the pp of the same officer wherein you can see the entitled pension is 85700 rupees the portion he has commuted is 42850 the commutation corpus he received is 46 lakhs 25744 rupees now coming to the investment of the commuted corpus to get a break even rate and to fulfill the shortfall in monthly pension here are the details for calculation we have assumed that da on date is 42% the da will increase by 6% every year for next 15 years and the pensioner opt for a new tax regime now coming to the pension shortfall and the break even here in you can see the basic pension is 85700 da he is receiving is 42% to start with hence his monthly pension is 121694 rupees the portion he has commuted is 42850 rupees hence the monthly pension to start with will be 78844 rupees which in the complete year comes to 946128 rupees now since the pension he gets on the monthly basis is taxable as per the individual tax bracket hence he will be liable to pay 53996 rupees in form of taxes in the entire one year thus the pension in hand he will get in case he has commuted is 8 lakhs 92132 rupees in case the pension was not commuted he continues to get 1 lakh 21694 rupees hence in the entire year it will be 14 lakhs 60328 rupees now since he is getting higher pension on the monthly basis he will be liable to pay higher taxes and the tax liability will be 1 lakh Forty-three thousand six twenty-two rupees. Therefore, the amount he will get in hand post taxes will be thirteen lakh sixteen thousand seven hundred and six rupees. And this is the shortfall that we will have in the annual pension. That is the pension he is getting in hand in case he has not commuted minus the pension he has got when he has commuted. So this is the shortfall in the monthly pension for commutation and in case of not commutation. and this is the shortfall that he needs to fulfill from the investment of the commuted corpus in this uh, column you can see 
this gap keeps on reducing for next 15 years. Why? Because the individual will be entitled for a higher DA from the next year onwards. Hence, he will be receiving higher monthly pension, which will be taxable at a higher income tax rate. Now, coming to the investment of the committed corpus, in this case, we have calculated that the break-even rate comes at 2.65% rate of growth on the committed corpus. How does that come in? So, this was the corpus of 46 lakhs, 25,744 that he received. He invests the same corpus for a rate of growth of 2.65%, which takes the amount to 47 lakhs, 48,326 rupees at the end of one year. From this amount, he reduces the shortfall in the pension for the entire one year, which is 4 lakh 24,574 rupees. And he invests the residual amount for the next one year at the rate of 2.65% growth. And this continues for next 15 years. Wherein you can see, even after withdrawing the shortfall in the pension that he will be having in case he has commuted, he will be having residual amount of few rupees in his bank. And this is possible even at the growth of 2.65% only. Why and where does the difference comes in? The difference comes in basically because of the higher taxes he will be paying in case he is not commuted his pension. Herein you can see he will be paying an additional tax of more than 20 lakh rupees in case he has not commuted. In case the pension is tax-free for the pensioner, the rate of growth required will be much higher, which will be at the higher of 7%. Because herein he will not be liable to pay any taxes on the pension. Hence, the growth rate will be higher. Now, what are the influences that we can draw from the cash flow table we have explained? When the pension is taxable, the shortfall in monthly pension can be fulfilled by the investment of the committed corpus at return on investment of less than 3%. When the pension is tax-free, the break-even rate is at much higher rate, that is 7.2%. Other factors that could influence your commutation decision could be any major liability that you need to pay off and you need the bulk amount, you must commute. Likely to pick up a job or have income to fulfill the shortfall in monthly pension, you must commute. PMR and officers retiring at younger ages are likely to pick up a job and their tax bracket will be a little higher and they must commute. Committed corpus comes as tax-free, whereas the pension that you receive on a monthly basis is taxable as per your income tax brackets. In an unfortunate demise of the pensioner, pension to spouse gets restored to full and this is the additional benefit that you have in case you have commuted. The commuted corpus at hand gives you an opportunity cost. Also remember, money has a diminishing value for you as, as you age, wherein you can use the money for better purposes and fulfilling your financial goals when you are still young. To conclude, it is financially prudent to commute your pension. Commuted corpus can be smartly and safely invested to generate much better returns than the break-even required to fulfill the pension shortfall. The break-even rate of return that is required from the committed corpus, which is less than 3%, is possible even from your SBI bank FDs, which are giving post-tax returns of more than 4 to 5%. I hope you will like the video and this shall help you in reason on your commutation. For more such like videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel with your friends and family. Uh, till our next video, thank you and all the best.